I'm gonna quickly talk about the cleansers that are sitting in my shower currently. I do have quite a few, but each one serves a purpose. I have five that I'll be kind of going over. So I'll start with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, this is a gentle cleansing lotion, so it does not foam. So it's important to note that if you're like someone that's into foamers or cleansers that foam, this is not a cleanser that foams. When I use this product, I use it to double cleanse. So I'll start with this product and then I'll follow up with a foaming cleanser. I generally use this when I'm like taking off a full day of makeup um, as my first step because again, it doesn't strip the skin and it helps cleanse the skin um, without kind of like drying it out. Um, the next cleanser in my lineup is the La Rouge Posay Pigment Clar. This is a foaming cleanser that helps with discontentation or dark spots. I like this cleanser because one, it's in a full tube. Two, it foams really nice. Um, three, it's good for people that are prone to dark spots and discontentation. Um, it's good for the face. It's good. It's good for sensitive areas like the groin and the underarm. So, like people that are trying to lighten up areas that are darker i.e. their underarms or their groin, I like to tell my patients about this product. It's one of my favorite pigment correcting cleansers. The other one that I tend to reach for is the PCA Pigment Bar. That is also one of my favorites. So yeah, and I generally use this maybe once or twice a week. So I don't like to over exfoliate my skin, uh, foliating cleanser. So I generally only use this about one to two times a week. Next up is the CLN Moisture Balancing Facial Cleanser. This is another one of my favorites for people that have really sensitive skin. So people with psoriasis, eczema, or atopic dermatitis, submarine dermatitis, rosacea, really sensitive skin. This is a cleanser that I um, like to reach for and tell my patients about. It doesn't strip the skin. It's nice and hydrating. It does have sodium hypochlorite, which is kind of a antimicrobial. Um, so it's good for patients with eczema who are prone to like um, intertigo. Um, it does come in a body wash, but I've not used a body wash before, but I'm sure it's just as good as the facial cleanser. So if I'm double cleansing, what I'll do is I'll first cleanse with the Hydro Boost cleansing lotion, then I'll follow up with the clean or CLN facial um, cleanser. So yeah, this is something that's safe to use every day. I use this every day. Um, doesn't strip the skin and I really like it honestly. Now we have our La Rouge Posay Epiclar. La Rouge Posay is one of my favorite skincare brands. I feel like it's underrated but the Epiclar, this is a salicylic acid wash. Um, I like that it also comes in a big bottle good to last you a long while. I generally use this one to two times a week for my face. I am acne prone, I do have oily skin, so this is good to clear out the pores and any congestion that you may be having. I do also have um, some acne, so this is what I use to treat my um, acne that's on my back and shoulders, so yeah, I really like it. And then finally, we have the Glytone Mild Gel Cleanser. This is also an exfoliating cleanser, so I do limit it to use one to two times a week. Um, it is mild, so it doesn't strip my skin or anything like that. It still feels moisturized after using it. Um, this is what I use when I do have a full face of makeup and I want to double cleanse. So again, I'll start with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, then I'll follow up with the Glytone um, Mild Gel Cleanser. Again, it doesn't strip the skin. It does have alpha hydroxy acid, which is a, an exfoliant. So again, I limit this to about one to two times a week. So yeah, those are my five cleansers that are currently in my shower. It's that five sounds like a lot, but each one does serve a purpose. Some of them can be used every day. Some of them are used one to two times a week. Some of them are just used for my face. Some of them are also used for my body. So um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've ever tried any of these brands um, and how they worked for you. So.